Hey guys, this is Jack, and today I've got an Adobe Premiere tutorial, um, just sort of on the basics of editing. So when you open this up, it's a bit overwhelming, it looks all professional, and you got no idea what to do. So right here, it's the same as After Effects, it's just your sort of like clip importer thing. Then you can put different kinds of stuff in here. It's just like, and they're all pretty much like, they're all um, just sort of self-explanatory. Here's the um, sort of overall composition thing. It's got the standard uh, playback controls. Down here's the timeline. Should be easy enough to figure out. Um, then over here, it's just got some different stuff. Media browser, effects, info, crap. And you can edit all of this. Just go to my um, Adobe After Effects organi organizing your workspace tutorial, and it, it all works for the same here. Like, you can go to Window, choose what you want. You can move everything everywhere, delete it. Just completely customize it to how you like it. Now I kind of like it just how it is right here. So, we are going to be, oh crap, wait. We are going to be editing a thing I made. I just uploaded it, or actually I'm uploading it right now. But it's just a simple frame blending test. Um, so, it, the way you import this, there's two ways. Depends on what kind of camera you use. If you use a camera that um, imports to the hard drive and then you put it on your computer using a USB device, uh, you just double click and locate it. You can also do that if you um, edited a clip in After Effects or something. All right. So if you use a DV camera, like I do, um, you're gonna have to go up here and say File Capture. It's gonna bring up this thing, and then you can say Play, and you can step back a frame, do all this crap. So um, capture it. You just press that, and it will play the tape forward, and it will capture it. Then you press that to stop the capture and then it'll just import it in. Uh, you can also press F5 to bring up this window. Oops. Um, it's kind of a, okay, there it goes. Alright, so I'm going to import the clip. Uh, let's see, oh wait, crap, that's not where I want to go. Let's see. Um, I called it frame blending. Yep, I was editing it in After Effects. It's just some slow motion. So let's drag it into video one right at the start. So there we go, and I kick a pillow in slow motion, and it looks pretty awesome. All right, so you see this doesn't have any audio, and that's kind of boring. So what we want to do, we want to uh, bring in some music. So the way I'm just going to do it is I just go down to music and search for it. I'm going to use Tom Sawyer by Rush. There it is. Open. Let's drag it into audio one. The great thing about um, this is that you can see exactly where it starts. So we can trim this by just going to the side and going like that. Um, we can make it start right when the, it begins. So, All right, that's pretty cool. Now, you can see that by clicking this little arrow, and it'll show you like all the audio levels and all that crap. All right, so now, when I kick the pillow, I want there to be a boom sound. So... I'm going to use a bomb sound from Video Copilot's Pro Scores. Now they're not actually bombs, they just they're just sort of like a low things. I'm gonna use bomb three. Um so let's drag it into audio two. Let's find the spot where I hit it. Uh, yeah, just about right there. Now, since I've got this thing down, I can see where it starts, so I'm gonna trim it to right where it starts and then move it over, so right when I kick the pillow, it plays the sound. So, you sort of hear that, boom. See, it kind of sets a bit later than I wanted to. Maybe if I just, yeah, that sounds probably good. Boom. Whoa, that sounded pretty cool. Alright, so, anyway. Now, after this clip is done, we wanted to make a title that just says, like, Thanks for watching, guys. So, what we're going to do... I just wanted to start when it goes... So, let's find that part. Then we're going to go to Title, New Title, Default Still. And that's fine. So now, we're just going to... Go to text, just click like a thanks for watching. Uh, let's do that. 
but scale it down. Scaling down works just like After Effects. You click on that, hold Shift. Like that. If you don't hold Shift, it does all this wacky stuff like that. That uh, scales down perspectively, I think is the word. So let's just put that right in the middle. That looks about good. Then you can do these preset text titles, uh, styles, I mean. You can create your own, but just if you want to go quick, you can just take a cool one. Let's just do that one for the heck of it. All right, close this. Now, the title appears in your um, clip selector, whatever you want to call it. So we just take it here, put it into video two, put it right where we want it. And now, if we watch the whole thing, let's go to beginning. Oh, wait, we'll just go like that. Okay, so now we, let's find where the title goes off. So that's 1528. All right, so now we want to export this because we want to post it on YouTube because YouTube's cool. All right, so we go export media, which is in file. And now we're at the end because that's where our clip selector was. But you can also select it by typing something in here. And so we're going to click this thing here which makes it so it only exports between the beginning and this range. You can also set the beginning by sending this one. And then, yep, we want it to fit. All right, so now, so we click this, and you can say the output name. So I've got a little folder that's just called Next Movie Final, just because I'm cool like that. Then we just say Frame Blending. Uh, save, file format. Yeah, that video file, sure. All right, save. Uh, you can also put comments on it, like, uh, awesome, or something like that, whatever the heck you want, it doesn't really matter. Then there's a bunch of extra stuff you can do, it's, you know, um, need frame blending, all this crap. Frame blending is just, like, it works just like an After Effects, but, um, that's only if you're slowing stuff down, right? So, if you press Q, it'll actually put it into Adobe Media Encoder. And that's good if you want to take a bunch of clips, put them all together into Adobe Media Encoder, and then click, click Export for that, which exports them all at the same time. But we don't need this, so all we have to do is just click Export. It's exporting. It goes pretty quick. Okay. So now, if we just find our uh, what, what we just exported in here, let's find it, what do we call this one? You can play it. It'll just play it in quick time. Oops. Oh, I know what I did. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot I had said something earlier when I was exporting this. Um, I want to export audio. That was pretty stupid of me. <laughs> Wait, cancel. All right. Sorry about this. I'm just gonna delete that. Jinx. Crash. Empty this. Okay. Now I can just do that again. <laughs> Frame blending. I right, save. Export. Oops, that was pretty stupid of me. I just didn't. I just did that because when I exported this for the first time, I did not want to um, have any audio in After Effects because I didn't like the audio. Just sounded kind of dumb. It's taking longer for some reason. Oh, there it goes. But yeah, just make sure that export video and export audio is both checked, or else you won't get them. And that'd be pretty bad. Alright, there we go. So now if we just go, let's find it for a window. There we go, we've got it. Alright, there we go, we've got it. I accidentally didn't set the in and out points. Make sure you've got all of that because I was pretty sloppy in this tutorial. Alright, that's pretty much it. Alright, th th guys, thanks for watching this video. Please uh, comment and give it a thumbs up so and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, see you next time.